Hey, what's up? So now I will um, add a button here to delete each one of the items in our to-do list. Um, so first thing, I will change the structure of this. So I will import the Flixbox uh, grid container or component, sorry. And for each to-do list, I will create a Flixbox grid. I will put this inside of it. And I will create a Flixbox grid item. A Flixbox grid item, yeah. And this is like the this is like the column. So column span would be twelve. Let me format the code. And in uh, the add sort, the column size or the column yeah the column size is twenty four, not twelve like other frameworks. So the column span for the next one would be ten. This so this is twenty two. This would be empty. And the last one will be two. Here I will put the button. This will create an empty space here with a button to the right. So, and I will go and copy this button from the button section. And we need, of course, to import the icon button and the icon. And I will change this to minus. We'll map the code and the last thing we need to shift the key from here to the first element, right? Makes sense. And this should be it, I believe. No? It's like it's not. Oh, yeah, sorry, this should be 2. Now it's 24. Yeah, as you can see. Uh, it's not that perfect, but now we can click on some. When we click on any one of these, it will should be that one exactly. So I'll give them like an ID. You can do it with index, but in a real world, you will probably have an array of objects, not an array of strings. You can do this very quickly. So as you can see, when we dispatch this add uh, action, if you go to our slice, this will accept the payload and just push it. So we can actually push an object with a txt. This would be the to-do text, in our case here. And an ID, this would be dead, but now invoke it then dot, dot to string and when we display this here so let's destruct the text and the ID remove the ID, the index we don't need it put the key as the ID and just display the txt and that should be it refresh as you can see it still works now for the deletion we will pass the ID to the redux and that would be it so let's create another reducer i'll call it del of course the state and the action i will destruct from the action the payload this will be the id that we want to delete so state you might do this state dot or state equals state dot filter since this is an array and you will filter it you will get the id for each object and id does not equal the payload that we got. This won't be catched by emr change detection. When you change the whole object, emr won't catch that. So what you need to do is, in that case, when you, as you can see, this the whole state is an array. Here we are changing the whole array, the whole state, which means with another object. So in these kind of cases, just return. But I will show it to you first that this will won't work. So I will. Now export this, destruct it and export it at the same time. Go to our to do's and import it. And now here in the icon button, on a click, we need to dispatch this delete action with the ID. Now we need the reference to the dispatch. We know that we need to use that use dispatch uh, hook. and format the code and that will be it so let's go here refresh test it let's go to the redux store look at the actions here as you can see we have the delete action it got dispatched and this is the action this is the id but because the issue i explained to you when you when you change the whole uh 
MR object, it won't get reflected. MR or MR can't catch that. So in these kind of cases, retain. Retain the new object. And back that MR can't catch it. And as you can see, it works. Um, so yeah, that will be your very small introduction about uh, Redux Toolkit, but we are not done yet. Let me show you in the next uh, maybe couple of videos or one video, I'm not sure, how we can use another awesome uh, helper. It's called Create a Cyclmas Tank. So if you want to do a Cyclmas HTTP requests, this is the way, and I'll show it to you in the next video. I hope this was useful and bye. And yeah, uh, remember that I have a repo for, for uh, with all of this. If you want to copy and paste the code. And yeah, that should be it. Bye.